This is Debbie with the Food Prepping Channel. First off, I wanted to do an update on my condition, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. Uh, I went to my family doctor yesterday, and she showed me the chest x-ray, and she said that the x-ray that they did at the hospital um, was a sitting up x-ray, and it's not as... Um, it's not as clear as what an echogram would do. So I go next Tuesday to a, guard, a cardiologist and I guess they'll do an echogram on my heart to see how enlarged it is. She did say to go on about my um, normal activities, just no exertion, which, you know, I don't, I'm getting ready to can some applesauce, so I really don't think that that's going to be exerting myself too much, um, but I did want to give you that update, and I wanted to tell you that um, I am going to be making applesauce. I've got um, this box of stamen apples, and I've already cut up um, that pot full and I've got them soaking in water with um, um, lemon juice in it and I got a little setup here going I peeled the apples put in the peelings in the trash then I I don't have one of those peel those pillar things that you put on the end of your table or whatever to peel and core your apples so I do have this little thing right here and I can't do it because I'm not an ambidextrous person. I'm sorry. But <laughs> what you do is you just put this on the the top of your apple right there. And it cuts it into pieces and takes the core out. And then I just throw them into there. And I'm going to be making as much applesauce as I can because um, I've got to get rid of these apples, so I'm going to do that, and when I get them all finished, peeling them and getting them cored and sliced up, uh, and I will bring you back, and I really do appreciate all the comments that you all have put on my channel. I still am very scared. I'm <laughs> extremely scared about my heart, but... I'm a pretty strong person, so hopefully I'll be okay, but that's not what this video is about. This video is about um, making applesauce and canning the applesauce. So as soon as I get all these apples cut up, and I'll bring you back. Okay, I forgot to bring you back after I'd gotten all the apples peeled. Um, this pot was totally full of applesauce, I mean of apples, and you can see how they've cooked down. It doesn't look like it's going to be maybe three quarts of um, applesauce. Um, I'm not sure, I guess, I, I mean, I <laughs> was counting on like 12, and I've cleaned the quart jars, and now it doesn't look like it's going to be but about three, but it is cooking, and um, it's cooking down really good. These stamen apples, um, the woman told me that they would cook down, and they really are. And I'll bring you back in a little while. I'm going to use my immersion blender to make sure that it's like applesauce, so I'll bring you back in a little while. Okay, I'm getting ready to use my um, immerse, immersion blender and try to get all of this so that it's like applesauce, so... Hold on, let me get this turned around here and turned on. Check it. Let's see how much. 
much more I've got to do. Just a little bit. I think I'm going to go on and put the sugar in it now. I'm going to start off with a um, cup of sugar and see how that does. Alright, and I'm going to let this um, go for a little bit longer. Make sure all the sugar's cooked up. And then I'm going to um, go and I've got my jars in the oven heating up. And I put my rings and lids in uh, water in just in a minute. And when I'm getting ready to can them, to can this, I'll bring you back. Okay, here is my applesauce, and here's my um, jars. I've got five jars. I don't think it's going to make any more than that. If it does, I'll freeze it or whatever, but I've got five jars. I did put another half a cup of sugar, so I used one and a half cups of sugar um, in this much applesauce, and now I'm going to can them, put them in my jars, my jars are hot, and I always make a big mess with this, I'm sorry, but I'm just not a tidy canner, <laughs> that's just the way it goes, as you can see, I've got all my equipment here, my um, tongs to get, put them in the, um, water bath canner and I've got my magnet to get my lids and rings out and then I've got this to make sure that there's no air in there and I'm just going to fill up as many jars as I can. Okay, and I'm going to take a wet paper towel and I go all along the rim of the jar and then I'm going to take my little magnet thing and well, get out a lid and a ring and put that on here. And then you tighten it. And then we'll put it in the water bath steamer. And like I said, once I get them all in there, I'll bring you back. Okay, you can see the steam coming off of this water. I ended up getting five quarts of applesauce. Um, once this comes to a boil, you can see that in the water bath canner that they are totally covered with water. Um, so once this comes to a boil, I will set my timer, and it's got to be a rolling boil, and I will set my timer for 25 minutes because that's, um, the lo that's how much it is for quarts and the location um, where I live. So once this gets done and I get them out, I'll bring you back and show you what they look like. did want to show you this is a rolling bowl, so in case you didn't know. And so now I'm going to set my timer. I'm going to put my lid back on there and set my timer for 25 minutes. Okay, I'm back with the final part. Here are my um, jars of applesauce. They have all um, sealed. They were in the water bath canner for 25 minutes. And um, I'm excited. This is really, really, really good applesauce. This is the first time that I've ever made my own applesauce. And um, it's kind of, I guess because I use my immersion blender, it's um, a lot smoother, I guess is what, you'd, what I want to say, than regular applesauce. Matter of fact, I could use this um, to feed my um, grandchildren 
as baby food. Um, I did put in a cup of half of sugar, so if I wanted to um, fix some more for them, I'd have to take the not put as much sugar in there, but it is really a um, good consistency for baby food, but we're going to enjoy it as well. And again, um, I do want to thank all of you that have posted comments to my channel and um, about my heart. And I will be seeing you again um, later on tonight. I'm going to bring you a, another video of brining my turkey. So um, I will be back later and you have a good night. Bye.